Hello, good evening, and welcome back to Undermine Modi Apparatus. I say good evening, but I've been posting these in the morning at 9 a.m., so I don't know who it's good evening for, but it must be good evening for somebody, uh, I don't know, Australia? Where is, where, where is it evening at 9 a.m.? I don't even know. Good, good evening to those down under. Um, we're going to Undermine, so you should be well familiar with this. This is basically Australia, all right? We've dug a hole that deep. I am blessed. I got that one new uh, one new thing here. First of all, we got the relic for bl blood bomb. So we leech life from enemies slain by bombs. Slain by, not just damage. So we have to make sure it's the finishing touch. We got the new gecko foot. Uh, we can pick up items at a distance. We have, uh, let's see, anything else interesting now? We have the, the tarred gloves. Increased ranged damage. Anything else? So this is pick up items at a distance. I believe, from what I understand, this is using the um, the, the throne pick to catch them. So we'll find out. But and our blessing is toughness. So I like that we can get a little blessing at the beginning here. That's going to help me. And for this run, we're going to go straight into the dungeon this time around. Of course, not straight into. We're going to go through this first floor here. Then we'll come back and talk to this guy. Um, we'll get as much as we can on this first floor here just to get some basics. we got 310 for health now. That's what that toughness will do for you. And we're going to launch that, that fire all over the place. Oh, God. I don't like this. Uh, we'll step in some spikes there. I want to end this this nest there. I'm going to get over here and get this one. With a bomb, probably. Oh, that was good. Ooh, almost bad. I'm going to hop over these guys. Just keep doing laps. There we go. Cardio, cardio, cardio. It's the zombie land method of survival here been a long time since i've seen that movie but some things stick with you oh look at the throwing damage on this now what was the 46 on that one and can i get this from the side oh see i think oh that was stupid now i'm gonna have to take more damage to get that i should have just done it instead of like oh okay well we got the health back so let's just do it that was not worth it that was not worth it at all. We got like one piece of gold out of that. All right. So we have, uh, ooh, there we go. That's good. We could probably find the secret on the first floor here. I think I'll have to go back to that room. We were just in to see if it was there. Do these guys do less damage when they're like when they're covered in water rather than oil? Or is it just like they don't drop the like oils like everywhere? That, that nest burst itself over there. That's good. So yeah, we had a couple of good runs lately. I'm liking I'm liking Rad. I think we're a good spot health wise. Um, I think we're a good spot going to the dungeon now. The enemies we encounter there, I should be able to handle them. I think we can get our relic for the first floor here, and then we'll just head down. It'll make this go much quicker. Okay, Bishop's bombs. As long as we're expecting. Oh, I have to choose though. I have to make a choice, the leech or the big bombs. I'm, I'm more likely to kill myself with the uh, with the X bomb, unfortunately. And those don't synergize or whatever, so. I have to pick one or the other. But it's still fine. At least we got a relic going in. Oh, don't break my gold up, please. All right, so. I feel like if you lit these two things, something's going to open in here. We don't have a way to open them. Um, we do have a way to blow these things up, though. And sometimes there's stuff inside of those, I'm pretty sure. Let's drop a couple bombs. Find out what happens. Oh, didn't have any luck there. All right. Let's not blow a bunch of bombs on those. We're not taking this one down. We're going to the... Uh, oh, that guy's going to get away. That's all right. Um, we're going to go down back to the uh, map guy we have a blessing room but we need a key for it looks like we got to take some damage here in order to get that a little bit of gold what we found out is that the, the, the gold rewards kind of go exponential like we get bigger pieces of gold in the dungeon so to do this we have to well okay if I dropped a bomb here I could blow this one up then we can hop. Oh, that's nice. We can hop straight across here. Don't take any damage. And we get a free bomb back anyway, so it was all worth it. We have seven bombs. I mean, this is pretty good. This is a pretty good start. 
That's a lot of bombs. Oh my god, it almost put it right into the spikes there. It's a lot of bombs for an initial uh floor here. I guess because we probably because we took the the blast thing it gave us a selection of bombs to start with here. I really don't know. I want the blessing. So we can get another blessing now. We have feelings more effective. We get the increased bomb size. Might be helpful for our current situation with the uh with the leech bomb. Otherwise, just more swing damage in general is not a bad thing to have. All right, let's take, the, let's take the basic one here. And this is... Healing is less effective. Okay, that's fine. We'll just won't get hit. Easy. No problem there. I don't see any uh, any risks there. No downside. I didn't see any sparkly walls anywhere. There probably was back in the last room of the, the thing here. Not a big deal. Whatever. Not at all the end of the world if we don't find one secret. It would have been nice if it happens. It doesn't. Happen. I mean, I do have bombs to waste, but it does feel just like a waste. Uh, we can spend money on the explorer's boots and get a speed boost when out of danger. When out of danger. That's the thing that sticks with me because it's like, okay, it's really just going to make the things go um, a shorter amount of time here. Who's your lady friend on the wall here? Is that your mom? Tell her I said hi. Oh, is it you? Oh, no, another? Either way, it does not matter where we should go. Okay, yeah, I want to go uh, travel. That's right. Uh, so we have the halls map now. I could just bypass the dungeons altogether. I don't think that's a good idea because the halls killed us very quickly. Um, good, now go to sleep. <sighs> oh, not literally. Okay, good. Uh, Delvamore Dungeon. We have some gold hanging over a pit here. I, li I like that the gold never falls into a pit on the first jump. That's always nice. So once we're really good at this, what we can do is... Oh, here's what we'll do. Once we really kind of get deeper in here, we'll, we'll go to the first floor and explore all of that. And then we'll take the map down to this floor. And then we'll explore all of this and take the map down to the next dungeon, right? Into the halls. And then that'll be a, a good amount of stuff for just doing a couple floors worth of work. And they don't have to do the whole like four floor situation, but I think we want to beat the boss here. Oh, I wanted to peep that first. Oh, well. Oh, you are a fool. Why did you do that? <laughs> just blindly. You know, it's, it's karma right there. It's just, it's just like comeuppance hoist, hoisted on your own petard kind of situation, I think. That I was just criticizing her for falling in a hole for no reason. And look what happens. Not so easy, is it? Not so easy. You guys, everyone's doing it. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Ah, you're not gonna do it. How about you? You wanna try it? Eh. Coward. You don't have the guts to fall in this hole. Not like the rest of them did. All right, so. We'll knock them in the hole this time. What do the red ones do if they hit me? Oh, they're fire. Okay, that makes sense. Now I know. I'm not gonna let. I'm not gonna let it hit me to find out. All right. Doing pretty well. I haven't really gotten hit much at all. I mean, the times I've gotten hit here have been. Oh, we gotta get rid of these guys first. Um. So we can get that going here for us. Well, they're on fire at least. Did that? Did one of those break us now? How did that happen? This, this guy broke it. I see. That means this could probably be broken up by a bomb then. I can't break it up like this. What would be nice is if I could get a thing that lets me uh, block projectiles. You want to fall in that hole, right? Oh, this guy has no knockback whatsoever. All right. Well, I don't think I got anything by breaking that, so I'm just going to try to avoid it for now. Oh, damn, walked right into it. That's not water there. I was hoping. That's our first real big hit here. All right, we got a um, blessing up here. I think we take it. All right, so we have more toughness or swing speed or maximum health. So we could offset the, the, the curse we already have. 
I wonder if curses are more, if they're equally balanced or if they're more weighted towards good. It would make sense that they would be equally balanced. So we could double down and max some health and really boost it up there. I mean, that's makes a lot of sense. The effectiveness of healing is down, but the... Oh, it's way down now. So I have a lot of health, just no way to get back there. Perfect. Perfect. I love it when they offset all of my curses and blessings. Uh, so we have a one cost thing here. Let's just do it. Maybe we'll get a key out of this. I can get that now with the thing. Oh, he missed him. Shoot. I was like trying to do too many things at once there. I was trying to like show off the new ability to catch things with my pick. And oh, I didn't get the relic here either. Shoot. Yeah, this is not the best floor for us yet. I'm not in love with this one. Should have got that instead of the chest. Oh, well. Did yeah, the chest had a chance of providing us a... Uh, it had a chance of providing us another key. So, I don't think it was the worst decision. Um, Did I find the exit? Am I walking right past it? What's going on here? Is it in a locked off room? What's the, what's the, what's the deal? Or I just walk past it? Oh, I did walk past it. Okay. Walked all the way back to the map maker for no good reason. This is, you know, again, cardio. Got to work out every once in a while. A little wall gold. We have 1400. I mean, for only going through two floors so far, that's not too bad. So now we're on the third floor of this episode. Dungeon two. We have two more dungeons to get through. Oh boy. I hate those guys. My hope is that, um, that was good. I hate this guy. I want to use him to blow up some stuff here if I can. Oh, did he get me? Nice. Don't want to, I don't want to, even though the throwing thing doesn't seem to, I think it, sh it really shouldn't hit me if I throw it at him. Come get me. Do it. Do a charge. Come on. Do the charge. Come on. You have to break the rock at least. Oh, now you do it when I'm not expecting you. 73 left. He's going to blow these up. I don't want him to blow those up. Oh yeah, just walk through those. That's good for you. He's got a lot of defense. There's only do like 12 to him. All right. We got a little bit. Oh, nice level up. Any secret here? Nope. All right. Now, so we still have no keys. So we're not going to get a... Uh, Another relic here. I think this jump through here is probably the best bet. All right, we got one of these jokers again. Oh, I hate this guy over here. We gotta get him first. Oh no, it's bad. That's our. That's our. That's another serious damage situation. That's good. That's great. You know what we should do? I gotta get this guy timed where... Did I get healing from that? I didn't get much. My leech bombs did not give me much health. I was like, we need to heal back. I need to kill things with bombs. That did not work. The leech bombs does not seem to be working. Only because it's the little guys there? That didn't work at all. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm just trying to kill things to get more health back. Well, we did get a secret here at least. Let's just kill them. And we're taking so much damage. Alright. Not shaping up well with all this lack of healing here. 
secrets though secrets okay nothing found Ooh, that's good how can i not get that nothing found all right let's smash this guy now because he was he disappointed me if i'm careful i could blow this rock up i can't get that healing right there doesn't matter what i do i gotta blow this rock up without blowing the item up Ooh. Drop gold continuously? Oh my god. Well, this is perfect. If I can get in here and drop it. Nice contained area. Ooh, we got another one. Let's do it. That's nice. Second secret. Oof, nearly cost me there. And this takes me back to the exit room, so I don't have to blow that one up necessarily. Wasn't any big secret in here, it looks like. A little bit of gold, I guess. Okay. Something at least. Um, okay, so if we want to go with the, the the Earth sign ring here, I don't really have any relics so far. I can't trade anything out. Uh, at this point, I should probably take the Recover's Health Healing here. 46 only. Get this for a health boost. I already have some health boost, so I don't really necessarily need that. Um, we could just double down on Curses. Usually get some pretty decent items off of this. So we got a faster swing speed, and we got a less swing damage. And we got a potion for take gain health instead of damage. I couldn't get this one to work before. And I don't know why. I don't know if we were doing something wrong or what but that was not it did not oh oh that's bad that's that guy again i mean it's not not the worst thing ever make another deal with the demon now uh, we do have another room to explore here i'm gonna do that get the extra damage here let's go back down towards this one leave no stone unturned and maybe get another key if I can. I would love... Ooh. See, this is the kind of room where it's going to cost me three bombs to do this. I don't have any clues here of what to blow up. I mean, with enough bombs, I would blow up everything, potentially. But I can't take any risks. I have only one bomb left. Uh, okay. Once again, we don't get any relics. We don't get any blessings. Lack of keys is bringing us down. Okay, let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. So, we can get the unique throw relic, creates a whirling blade of death, or we get five curses, and health, damage, and healing becomes small and even. Health, damage, and healing become small and even. I don't understand. So, is it saying the damage I take, my current health, and the Healing become even. I'm gonna smash this dude's house up. He might be hiding something on me. Also, I'm taking the lights out. It's not getting darker in here. Yeah, it's dark. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't hiding anything on me. The only thing I might take is this whirling blade of death. It is cool. All right, we got we got all as peasant all enemies ignite the peasant. Chance to drop a bomb when taking damage. That's bad. And then taking damage when you jump. Well, I don't jump that often. But I, I will probably need to jump a ton now. All right. We need to get some of these curses removed because there's a lot now. At the very least, we're going to get some money out of this. <gasps> oh, my God. That's right, it stays out there. I love that. That's a really cool one. Walk into my trap. I 
really didn't die, huh? Oh, I'm doing so less damage for throwing now. Is that part of this? All right, I'm not gonna waste a key getting some meat there. I can't get through it like that. Just gotta like bullet hell it. I can't jump. That was pretty good. Ooh, free bomb. Now that I'm gonna drop them when I get hit, it's so good to have extra bombs. I do like this this relic though. Like that, these guys will be no problem now. It goes through walls too, it looks like. They don't tell you that in the description, but it's good. It's very helpful. Uh, all right. What if I can get that with this? Oh, shoot. I can't, I can't get that. I thought maybe it's the relic that's doing it or I can't do things like that. I would take damage if I jump. I can't see what that is, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm not gonna do it. I don't think it's worthwhile. Leave me alone. Oh my god. That was great. That was really great. I'm just glad I didn't get hit on that. Cause that could have been very bad down there. I don't like that the... There's so much UI that blocks things on the screen. Like there could be something back there. I can't see it. I mean, I was saying that as I know there's a big face hanging out of the corner here blocking some of the screen too. That can't be helped. That can't be helped. There's no way I could make a video without a webcam on it. Um, so it's not going anywhere. But all this UI stuff all over the screen. I mean, why is why does this map block up things? Why does why does the UI up there block it? All these things. What is going on and why? I got a fair bit of money now. 3,600. All right, so again, no keys to spend. Again, I want Tab to have a map on it so badly. All right, key there. I got a potion back there. This thing does not help me at all. I don't know. All right, let's just get deeper. Can't do anything without the keys. Need them. Can't do anything without it. Can't do anything without it. Oh, I hate these guys so much. I love that though. You stand still there. I'm just gonna hit you like that for a while. You just do that, thank you. I love that. So this has paid dividends. And I think if we get to the boss, this could actually work out very nicely. This will probably be the perfect weapon for the boss fight. If we can get there. Cause he has those spinning like spheres. If we just let this thing sit on it and focus on dodging. Oh, but he requires jumping to. Oh, we got to get rid of this curse somehow. We really got to get rid of this curse somehow. This, this, well, I don't know what to get rid of first. The healing would be one thing to get rid of. Oh my God. I got him. Nice. Get out of there. I love, I love this thing. It's great. Don't get me wrong. It came at a cost though. And the cost is continuously doing damage to me right now. I gotta be careful with these guys too, because I could, I, ooh. Oh, dang, this is a dangerous room. I'm dead. That's it. That's it, I'm done. I'm so done. Down it. Oh, oh I was jumping too. I had such high hopes for this run. I had such high hopes for it. We could have done it, except I forgot the whole jumping does damage thing, first of all. So yeah, I might not have been poisoned anymore there taking damage. I might have been surviving it too. Not that it would survive much longer because I got hit, but damn it. 
2800 doesn't seem like enough all right so what can we do then i mean it's a pretty short episode if i stop now basic item voucher expand the shop's item supply that would be good um do we just do like a kamikaze halls run quick what can i afford here oh i got 2000 i bet you i can afford something good over here let's take a look that's an option the more options in the in the shop are an option um six thousand three thousand eight thousand okay never mind there and then over here in the potion thing there was something i can afford there i think will longer duration potions carry an extra potion that might help how do i switch them though uh increase potion duration or carry an extra potion let's buy the extra potion and then um i carry two of them uh i got the achievement belt loop and i can get another bomb upgrade that's kind of a meh on that one okay let's do let's do this then because it's gonna be a short episode otherwise i'm gonna do a kamikaze halls run quick and we're gonna go through this first floor here very quickly <laughs> slow it down just a little bit more a little slower than that maybe because <laughs> otherwise it's gonna be a very short episode all right so this is the map maker looks like we got a loop here that's good uh so we need bombs and we need we need bombs and don't we just need bombs we don't need the key necessarily it's too far to jump that on its own oh i missed that just barely didn't time it quite right we got another um we got another uh health upgrade which is good oh well that there was my health upgrade all right just gotta get the timing down patience rushing is not great in this game we're just gonna consistently just you know just, just we're not gonna like dawdle that's what we're gonna do I mean, that's part of this, too. Oop. Almost cooked that. Oh, don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. I need that. I don't like my meat sliced up like that. We're going to just focus. We're just going to focus. We're not going to rush. Oh. oh, my God. Okay, I'm not going to be a bullet sponge anymore. That was horrible. At least I didn't get poisoned on that. We got this room. We know how to deal with it. Got it. Nah. Oh my god. I don't know what I was th expecting there. Kill the flying guys first. There we go. There we go. Yeah, the picking up thing's nice. So I can throw it out there and grab a lot of this stuff while I go um and relic we get one freebie this gives me one bomb to spend as i see fit um that can blow up the chest over there i guess i would do that because inside the chest there could be more bombs and no sparkle here okay i can't get the blessing there I can walk back and then we'll walk back to the room for the map maker anyways and do the uh, halls run like I said. Because we got to get used to that area anyways. I mean, it's going to be short and it's, we just needed like a little bit more length in this episode. <laughs> I don't like to have a 25. I like to mix it up, you know? I don't have a 25 minute episode, but also let's leave it like right here so we get the X benefit. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh my God. It did work out at least. Are you kidding me? All right. So this is like a, a this is a, a floor of basically nothing. 500 gold that we got out of that. Well, we'll only get like 300. Take home. All right, travel. Why doesn't charge us to travel? Good, go to sleep. Are these blueprints back here? I don't think they are. I think they're just, just like fan letters. All right, into the halls of Din. At the very least here, we'll get up some some cash right away. Get back 
hear that. We got the big chunks. Oh my God. Let me get the big chunks. Bird, I blame you. I know you're my loyal subject usually. My loyal squire. My squire canary. Nice. Teamwork. Um, if I had a bomb, I'd blow this up. It's the map room again. But I don't. New enemies. Oh, oh my God. Well, at least he's killing his buddies. What is this? Who tells me? I'll have to look at see what that means here in a minute. Oh God, this guy's dangerous. He's got 104 health. 204 health, rather. Left. We need more reach for this guy. That's all you can do. Oof. Everything's dangerous here, but look how much money we're getting right away. I mean, this was worth the trip just to come down here to get some cash. And we got the shop here. The shop stuff will be expensive. He's got more options, though. Ooh, this is cheap ish uh he's got a sale does he sell me another upgrade to my membership thanks for being a little customer so once we do that he's just that's how we get the membership upgrades when we buy them from the shop upstairs um 327 for this let's do it i got a achievement for glutton for punishment heal a thousand health using food in one run really Nah, i think that's bugged i didn't do that i didn't do that just now there's no way i healed that much health there was gold in here. I never just got gold in this before. I gotta start searching everywhere now. Really? I mean, it's 10, so it's not great, but still. Um, I could buy a bomb. Yeah, we'll come back for that maybe. It's only 150. Okay, this is for the ring. I don't really care for that. Let's go take a look if there's any wall gold or anything like that worthwhile though. Science point to no. All right. I mean, if we get through the one floor here, we'll have tons of tons of money. So I pick up the money first here, because these things probably do a lot of damage. Ooh, they split. That's a new. That's the new function, huh? They're not that strong though. Oh, I see. see you can actually see it when you look at them. There's like two. There's like two slimes inside of one. There. There's two faces. I love that. I love that it's not like just like, oh, it's the slime split. It's like canonical, like two slimes are hooked up in the same slime casing. They're attacking me. I dig it. This could be good. Oh, that could be very good. Holy glaze. 27 off of that. That's awesome. This music's pretty good in here. Uh, what does it say? Fight? Question mark? Um, okay. Well, there's a book key here. I do want to fight. I don't know if I want to fight yet. It's a matter of timing, I think, at this point. There's this guy again. We fought this guy before. I want to get rid of these bats first. They're, big, they're a bigger problem. Oh, oh God. Really? Well, that's nice. Really? Okay, I didn't know they could. I wouldn't think a flying enemy can kill itself by falling, but they figured out a way. Yeah, stay right there above the pit there, bud. I can't use a bomb on him, fortunately. Should have bought that bomb. He's gonna have his health all the way back up again. There's gonna be no way to deal with this guy. Unless he's limited. Oh, God. Well, now I saw the trap, so I didn't get, I didn't, I didn't die from the, uh, get, there we go. God. I didn't, I didn't wake up that guy from hitting the button there. I got stabbed in the back by an arrow from that button. Okay. Well, that's nice. Triggers that. Okay. Where are you guys? Oh, that's fun. Oh, really? That dude over there triggered the button for me. So if I bring this guy over here, hey, but dude, can you come over here? Stop triggering the bombs, please. Yeah, walk all the way over here, please. That was kind of nice. You almost got there. Over here, over here. A little further. Come on. Where, dude? 
Over here, over here, over here, over here, over here, over here. I mean, I'm glad the thing took took out the, the enemy there, but let's peep this. <gasps> oh my god. It's not safe to peep. Just when you thought it was safe to peep. What are these things about? Can I blow them up? I can blow up just about everything in this in this game. Chances are, if your question is, can I blow something up? It's always going to be yes. All right, I think what we do is this. Just to get something. Which is more bombs. We can peep this guy. A piece of thorium. Nice. We got a uh, achievement for peeping skeletons. The achievement was not peeping Tom, unfortunately. There is a back way into the... Uh, ah, there's a back way into the uh, room there. That's great. So we can go right here. Get that now. And we got... I mean... It's unfortunate, but we got galoshes. Now, it looks like we have a room up here I forgot about. Oh, I didn't forget about it. I didn't forget about it. I just forgot about it. Okay. We have a battle. Okay. We're fighting. This is probably just a one wave of enemies. We have to probably fight multiple waves. I don't think it's be that easy. Wave one. Get a little meat. Okay. Now, I haven't beaten these guys before. <gasps> what the hell's that? Oh my god! Oh my god! We're not ready. We're not ready for this area. That's fine. I'm, I'm, you know, we're aware of that. This dude summons those guys. I'm, I don't know. I don't know if this guy's summoning them or if they're each just summoning a couple skeletons. I don't know. I'm guessing defeating this is going to unlock a new character though for the, for the, for the hub. It seems relatively impossible at this point, though, with my current skills. I should just start dropping bombs down. Honestly, just start just dropping those X-bombs around and just taking out what I can. That is what I should have done. What I did do was panic and get killed by assassins. All right, so now we got 800 bucks. Not enough to do much of anything. Anything in here I can buy? No upgrades in here. I can buy some basic upgrades over there and might be able to get a new potion brood. Nothing there. Well, we could do a new potion. We got the Celt's Blood. The uh, Holy Gaze averaged the levels of all blessings. So, it potentially would take, if you have two, a level of two, it would potentially take the, it would potentially take, if you have like four blessings and one of them's a two, it would take the two one the one that's a two down to a one. Hmm. But the idea is you focus, if you get this potion, you focus on one blessing again and again and again, and then you even them out. Like you like one at like six, and you have like three different blessings, you even them all at the three or whatever, you know? That might make sense. Uh, I don't know about these. I would guess Celt's Blood would probably want to take here. Duplicate all food in the room is kind of fun, and uh, Apprentice's Tincture, random amount of health. I mean, that's 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 not bad. Let's buy it. Let's brew it. We need more new things to show up in the in the in the dungeons, right? So let's take that. We got a level one chemist achievement for craft a new potion, and then we can buy some. We'll figure out what we want to buy here. We could probably buy one of each actually. And in here, there's nothing, right? There's nothing we can afford. So probably what we'll end up doing. We'll just buy this guy out of stock. 
All right, that will be well equipped to go into the mines next time. And we'll do what we did last time. I think we did the right thing as far as skipping the gold mine at this point. It's gonna, it's getting diminishing returns now. We're gonna get walk away with it like maybe two thousand. But well, plus some blessings though too. If I can fly through it, it might be the answer. Is just try to fly through it rather than explore it fully. But I never like to explore it fully if I'm gonna do it. I don't know. It'll shorten up the episodes to skip the dungeon, but at the same time, I kind of, yeah, I kind of want to get to the action. So the dungeons where it's at right now. We have to get better at that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I'll be back for another one tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you then.